Okay, so we've got Frank here from Stone Market. He's come down just to really give me uh, patio 101 kind of frequently asked questions. So we've got our, our, all of our patio um, slabs, the, the limestone and the sets for the path all arrived last week. So we've grabbed a few out just to kind of have a look. Um, so basically, if we start right from the beginning, yep. we've done a lot of the preparation already. Yeah, which is good. your guidelines as far as taking it off, or taking, you know, taking all the topsoil and lawn off away? you know get a, what's your process yeah well ultimately when you when you take away all the surface you've got to replace it and you've yep. got to replace it with the right stuff uh, so when you've taken it down to soil to the right level you want it yeah uh, then you'll lay down a membrane on there so yep. a weed suppressant of sort so a membrane to like stop the fabric. yep indeed uh, and then what we recommend is is a hundred mil of uh, type one yeah. Uh, clean stone, as this is, is scalpings. Yeah, of as sorts. a minimum. As a minimum. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. uh, here, because we've terraced it, it's quite yeah. a bit more. But no, indeed. And, gonna... and if it is deeper, then obviously compacted yeah. uh, at it's... 75 mil intervals. So, yeah. and then compacted, and then get to get to get your level, to get your base level. Uh, so, yeah, you've prepared the area great. Uh, you, you've obviously taken into consideration various points of drainage on there. Yeah, so, so we've got a gazebo going uh, probably two thirds of the area is going to be covered yep. uh, with the roof. Yep. And then this uh, kind of skirt of the patio, I guess, is going to be uh, sloped away. So okay. I don't want to slope the whole thing because it would have been quite a drop. Yep. Um, so we're going to keep it level up to the, you know, all the covered area will be level and then we're going to taper it away. Right. Um, and uh, we're going to leave a, a gap between what we've got here, which is the oak and the paving, and then keep that, you know, full of gravel just so it's free draining. Right, is that, okay. Is that okay? Yeah, it might, uh, just as a thought, it might pay just to have a slight fall on here. If, if any does okay. get spilled, you don't want it holding in there. Yeah, that's uh, great, yeah. Driving rain, possibly yeah. holding, just to, just to clear it off. So it might pay to put a bit of a fall in there. Okay. Um, yeah, just to cool. consider that when you're thinking yeah, about it. Yeah, we're going to get the compactor again, uh, you know, the plate compactor again, so we can tweak everything before yep. we lay. Um, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um, so up that end, uh, we're going to just continue up to the house. We've yep. got some existing really solid concrete there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll cover that in the video, but we're just going to make sure that that's you know ready to accept the paving as well. And we've got some drainage there. Yep. Uh, we're going to put a channel drain in. Um, so what's once we've got the sub base in, it's like a, a mot one type. Uh, type one. To dust. That yeah, right? that's yeah. correct. Yep. Yeah. Uh, then what are we doing then? Dry best best thing? lay plan. Yeah, I was going to say best lay plans is obviously to take mix from the packs. Um, yep. Is to dry lay your area right. It is a bit of a um, bit of a headache. Yeah, uh, yeah. is to dry lay the, the product out to what so you want. we've got want. diagrams, haven't we, from the Yeah, we've got, plant. exactly. Um, yeah. And then obviously you'll know then where your cuts are going to be and you'll know yeah. how much you're going to need uh, and it'll give you an idea of exactly what you're putting down and mm -hmm. you, can, you can measure it up a little bit more precisely. Yeah. Um, and then once you've done that, I believe you're going to then take it from there. Yeah, I think so. We'll, we'll just leave it beside and then we can kind of bring one across at a time. Yeah. Yep. And then we'll mix up all the, all the mortar over on the far side and just barrel it over so right. it's nice and clean and we're just you know, working on a section at a time. Gotcha, gotcha. As far as the spacing between each? Yeah, uh, spacing wise, you could, yeah, 10, 10 to 12 mil. Uh, so as long as you've got a 10 mil gap, you will, because of the undulations of the sides, you will get a variance in there. So yeah, it's you're going to... Yeah, tiling bathroom, I guess. Uh, no, a, indeed, a indeed. Um, again, it's... Timber to, shims. Yeah, if you've, got some, if you've got some timbers you can use yeah. there for, uh, for spacing-wise, that'll do the job. Sure. Um, just to remember as well, obviously, when you're, when you're installing it, it's best to put a, uh, a form of slurry on the back of the product, okay. um, which helps to adhere, and it also stops the ingress of water, etc. So just to put a slurry mix on the back yeah. of the fl paving flag. Okay. Uh, then you, you'll mix up your mortar, you put on a full mortar bed. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then uh, full mortar bed, well, it can be anything 30 to 50 mil. Um, so it, depending on some of your levels that you've got. So it's actually going to bring up the patio quite nicely to, you know, just below the edge there. So yeah. Like little curve. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that can be a, a, well, the standard is three to three to one mix, uh, which is a very strong mix, as you can imagine. So yeah, yeah. four or even five to one is, is adequate for a domestic purpose. Um, and then obviously you're mixing up your, your, your jointing for your separately for your pointing. Yeah. Uh, there are several ways of doing it. It's traditionally with a how mortar. Long, how long we leave in between the two? Um, it's best because you want to be able to walk on it. Yeah, so you yeah. want to leave it a good um, 72 hours at yeah. least before you can start traffic in it um, to make sure that it is, is dry. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it could be a one weekend job and then the next weekend. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, then with regards to the pointing side of it, you can do it traditionally with a pointing with a, with a mortar mix. Yeah. Uh, we actually do a product called Fast Point which yeah. will speed up your installation of, uh, yeah, exactly. You saturate your joints with water. Once it's been installed for, you know, 72 hours, et cetera, to lay it to get off. Yeah. You'd then um, 
saturate the joints with water take the product onto the onto the joints there is actually on our website on youtube there is actually a we've done a, a trial on there so that so would show you that. yeah exactly that's probably more detailed than yeah talking through it um but that is a that is a fantastic way of, of speedily installing and it and color match too yeah well there'll, there'll be, there's three colors on there so depending on the finish you're looking to get um is frost proof and it is weed resistant so it's a very good product to be using and okay. um, we're going to take a look at the path uh, we have the nice uh, solid concrete slab up there so we are going to overlay there but over on the old path is just uh, un untrustworthy. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, so you're going to take that back to yeah. the original uh, soil base and yeah, then you're going I'll to build it up. Under there, but we definitely yep. want to make sure we've got at least 100 mil, I guess. Of, yep, yep, of indeed. Hot one and, and work from there. So yeah. if we move over there and we'll have a look at that. Okay. Okay, so this is our path, and as you can see, yeah, it's, uh, it's starting, to go. Best year. starting to go in a few places. Yep. Yeah, and I think we were driving the digger up and down here. so... Some of it was self-inflicted, but much of it has just kind of subsided over the years. So the plan is to take this out completely. Right. Uh, unfortunately, another weekend's work, but we'll take it out and then we can start from fresh, like you said, start with the fabric. Yep. Uh, a good 100 mil or, or more just to bring it up nice and level. And I guess this we have got a good slope here anyway, haven't we? Yes, no, absolutely. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna give a natural runoff, and obviously you've got catchment areas either side, which is gonna be flower beds. Continue yeah, yeah. with the flower beds. Yeah, they'll stay there. So um, yeah, that'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so we've got our sets on site already. Um, you've got a mixed one, haven't you? With yes. Different sizes. Yep. Uh, which kind of gives a bit more of a random natural look, I guess. Uh, but I think for our case here, because it's quite a narrow path, we would have ended up with loads of cutting and a bit of wastage. So you've chosen the two two ten by one forty. Yep. Um, single size. So the idea being that we could kind of lay in the the outside ones first, all the way down, you know, measure it up first, get them really nice and solid, okay. and kind of haunch them. So you have a good edge restraint there on them already with a good bit of haunchy below them? Yeah. Okay, and then, yep. And then, then infill them with these. And now that way it's kind of three or two and two halves. I see, yep. So you're going to get minimal wastage, you're going to cut these and it's going to fit in. Hopefully. In yeah. the areas there. Um, and then the cut edge, any tips for, because it's going to be quite a sharp cut edge? Yeah, Can well, we just, like, knock it about you, you'll see, it? yeah, no, you'll see that uh, these are actually shaped um, and obviously you've got a, they have got a top and a bottom on them. Yeah. Um, and the recommendation is, is to put them with the, the frame, the um, so it's the angle yeah. going in that direction. So when you, when you do split it, uh, you're going to try and not, need to try and get a bit of an angle on there okay. um, so you don't see a you know clear it won't be a clean cut what no, potentially no, no. Uh, so you, you'll need to make sure you the uh, best way to cut these to get that match look can it can be done by hand or you can yes hand, hand these are these have been hand fettled as well anyway so if you okay. can have you got the time to do that that uh, that would give it a better finish yeah, yeah. Um, but imagine these have been these have been tumbled as well yeah I um, think so they're the same so, range as the vintage so they've yeah. got that softer and indeed they're going to be a bit softer correct um, and then so we'll get these two edges in first kind of all really nice and solid then we're 50 mil bed the... yep so again you're going to be uh, 30 to 50 mil bed on there okay. to take up any consistencies they're not because it's a natural product um, these aren't going to be uh, exactly the same thicknesses so they're not calibrated so they're not calibrated no they will vary just slightly in thicknesses yeah. you see by a couple of them so it's to take up any inconsistency you've got a between a 25 and 40 and we'll mil rub variance tap tap as we work our way down. yep indeed yeah. indeed um, and then pointing, similar yeah. situation to that. Exactly, yes. We've got a product that's called Fast Point, which would be ideal, because this, as you can imagine, is going to be quite a fiddly little yeah, job. Yeah. Um, and again, it'll be saturate the joints, brush it in to refusal. Uh, so or you can do it. 10 mil as well? Again, yeah, it's a 10 mil joint. I mean, you, you're going to lay for it on, on yours. So we recommend a 10 mil joint. These are going to be 20 mil thick. Yeah. So that'll be an ideal um, anchor point for the Fast Point to go okay. in. So we've got to work around the back of the house here. We'll do <coughs> some decking and... and our path along then we're going to head down um and we've got some steps there so just behind the hoping, gate you've got steps going down yeah yet. so i'm hoping to tie in the sets with the the same stone but in some paving on the treads of the step all right working yep. down and then we've hopefully got enough to do the rest of the path down the bottom there which is you know so it's just got a bit more consistency all the way through yeah and then it will complement the house as you yeah yeah and it's, come up through. it's similar sort of size blocks as well as it, it's the yep. natural stone of the house so Hopefully it's all going to tie in and by the time these borders sort of, uh, grow up a bit. So I'm going to uh, borrow Frank for a couple more videos and we're going to do a video looking at all the options. Um, so we can look at everything you supply really, which is sandstones, the limestones, mm -hmm. granites, everything. Uh, and Joe's going to come out and kind of help in that video. 
Uh, and then also we're going to look at sandstone especially um, and how we can test it and you know pick pick the uh, the good stuff from the bad stuff so hopefully we've got some good videos yep. to come and we'll put those up in the next week or so so thanks for watching and remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time